We live in a beautiful world. Just look at the amazing things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the darkness and said, Light! He called the light day, and he called the darkness night. Day one, done! Then, God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. He called the space sky. Day two, done! God gathered the waters together, and dry ground appeared. He called the ground land, and the waters seas. Then he made plants like grass, grain, and trees. Day three, done. What did God make on day one? Then, God made lights in the sky. He made the sun for the Hot day, one. the moon for the night, and all the stars. Day four, done. God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Have babies, he told them. Fill the world with splashing and singing. Day five, done. <laughs> Next, God made animals. He made farm animals, wild animals, and animals that crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make. God said, the most special thing of all. So, in his image, God made man and woman. Have babies, he said. Take charge of the world. Care for the fish, the birds, and the animals. Day six, done. <laughs> then, God looked at everything he had made. It's very good, he said. So, on the seventh day, he rested and made that day special. Day seven, done. Everything you want. Does this get boxy about? In the beginning, we God God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Next. Then, God looked at everything he had made. It's very good, he said. So, on the seventh day, he rested and made that day special. Day seven, done. God was pleased with his creation, and he rested on the seventh day. True or false? Back at the base, seventh. What? Thank you. 
in the beginning. Everything, you know. 